I'm Holly, and in this video, I'll show you how I created a soap with a charcoal oil line swirl. I'll list the recipe at the end of the video, and you'll find links and information in the description box below. For the charcoal oil line, I just mix some activated charcoal with olive oil. For the rest of the soap, I really wanted a white color, so I mixed some water-soluble titanium dioxide with warm water. You could just leave this out if you'd rather not use it. Soap making involves the use of sodium hydroxide or lye, which can burn your skin and permanently damage your eyes. So be sure to learn and follow lye safe handling procedures during the entire soap making process. Once the sodium hydroxide was completely dissolved, I set the lye aside to cool. I first saw this oil line swirl technique almost 10 years ago in a video by Lynn of Lather and Luster on YouTube, and I've even used this process in the past with Alkana infused oil. I'll list my video and Lynn's in the description box below in case you're interested. I wanted the charcoal lines to really stand out and not be too swirly, so I poured the white soap as close to the surface as possible. Pouring from up high tends to really blur the lines. However, I did make another soap where I poured the white color from way up high, and I'll show that cut at the very end of the video. Thank you. 
I did oven process the soap as I normally do to ensure a complete gel. I preheated my oven to its lowest temperature of 170 degrees Fahrenheit and then turned the oven off. I placed the mold in the warm oven and left it overnight. I also left the oven light on for about two hours. I removed the soap from the oven the next morning and left it covered on the counter until the next day. I unmolded and cut the soap about 48 hours after making it. Since I was making a cold process soap, I left the type of lye set to sodium hydroxide, or NaOH. My recipe oil weight was 1,250 grams. My lye concentration was set to 36%, which means my lye solution consisted of 36% sodium hydroxide and 64% distilled water. I left the super fat at 5% and my fragrance usage trait was 30 grams per kilogram. Once you have everything entered, you just select to calculate the recipe, then to view or print it. SoapCalc will give you a really nice listing of all of your ingredients, including the amount of sodium hydroxide required to saponify your oils. Thank you so much for watching, and I hope you found something useful here to help you in your soap making.